New at four, a local college campus was rocked after a beloved professor was almost killed in a car crash earlier this month. Virginia Beach police say a drunk driver was responsible. Kathy Murlock Jackson has taught communications at Virginia Wesleyan for 35 years. She and her husband are still in the hospital from the accident that police say should have never happened. Tonight on your side, Jason Marks talked with Jackson students on campus. And Jason, they still cannot believe what happened. Well, you know, Dr. Jackson taught thousands of students over the years, including me, believe it or not. She is also the faculty coordinator for the university's ethics team, a team that had its biggest competition the year uh, of the year two days after Jackson almost lost her life. On the campus of Virginia Wesleyan University. It's just hard to process right away. Students are confronted with making decisions every day. What's the best ethical and practical way to get through this issue? And no one sees more ethical dilemmas than the university's ethics team. It is very nerve wracking, especially in a competition setting when you're going against a bunch of other kids that have been practicing all year long. February 9th, the team was to compete in the Ethics Bowl in Lynchburg, the biggest event of the year. But the day before they were set to hit the road, they got devastating news. We were all really shell shocked. I didn't know how to handle it at first. I was a little, a little dumbstruck. They had been in a car accident. It was very serious. The team's coach, Professor Dr. Kathy Murlock Jackson, and her husband Joe were in the hospital. Jackson was fighting for her life after police say they were hit by a drunk driver. I was just in her office a few hours prior to the accident, talking to her about preparing for the ethics bowl. The team realized they would have to go it alone. We wanted to win for her at that point. It was really weird and kind of scary to go out there on our own without her. VWU hadn't won the ethics bowl in 20 years. This time, the students would not be denied. To have won that meant so much, and the first thing in my head was, oh my gosh, we did this for her. Their leader still in the hospital and won't be back until the fall semester. But when Dr. Jackson does return to campus, a big trophy is waiting for her. It was really special. You know, you couldn't have written it better in that sense, um, given the circumstances. And Dr. Jackson tells me the first thing she was told after she woke up four days after the crash was the team won. I had a chance to sit down with her and talk about that accident. I remember saying, am, am I dying? And, and Joe um, grasped my hand and he said, help, help is coming. And then I just remember kind of whispering, help me, help me, please, please help me. Now coming up tonight at 5, you'll hear from Dr. Jackson and her husband about the moments just before and right after the crash that almost took their lives. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.